hospital it is thir Wednesday Wednesday morning my dad's surgery is tomorrow he has to be at the hospital at 1050 this morning it's about a two-hour drive um, it's quarter after eight right now and his surgery is tomorrow we're checking into a hotel close to the hospital and they have shuttles back and forth to the hospital so that makes it a little bit easier so we can get back and forth without a problem and um, that's about it. Mom's driving, she's nervous. She doesn't like driving this far. And we keep hitting <laughs> bumps in the road so the camera keeps going up and down. Sorry guys. <laughs> you know, I probably could have drove if I wished. You yeah. know, Here, here's my dad. <laughs> I could have laid down over there and drove. Yeah. Here's my dad reclined in the front seat. <laughs> Wave hi dad. Hi. Uh, Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> He's got his head covered so the sun doesn't wave in his face. And there's mom. Hi. There she is. <laughs> we got the GPS on my lap here because Ma doesn't know the directions that well. Turn right, Phyllis Hill Road. So she knows till a certain point and then I have to start giving her directions. Oh, oh poor Pa. If you need more ashes, I'll put one of the dogs in when you have that. Alright, let's have this conversation all over again, guys. <laughs> Seriously. What? Have this conversation all over again. What? I thought they'd give me the leg. If he has to have it. What do they do with it? I, thought, I would get the leg, have it cremated, and put the ashes in with the rest of his body when he decides to die. I thought they'd cremate it and give it back to you. So did I. I figured they would cremate it and give me the ashes. I had no idea what they do. I've never come across this. And then also, you got to look on your insurance and see if you have that insurance that if you lose a limb, you have, uh, if you lose a limb, you get paid for that. But I don't know if it has to be in an accident or just like this way. My parents thought that if they end up having to take my father's leg, that they're going to wrap up the leg and give him the leg. Or that they're going to cremate the leg and give my father the ashes. We got to find out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they do with it. I think they, they keep the leg. They have to give you, it's your body, it's part of your body. They have to give it to you. I don't think so, Mom. I think they keep the leg. What do the they legs. do? Throw it on a freaking dump? I think they send it for, they yeah, need to do more that, testing and stuff do on it. it after that? I don't know. They don't send it to you? <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Lone Wolf. Hi. How you doing back there? I get in there. Yeah? Yeah. You're on your way to the hospital. Just wish we were there already. Almost. I hope so. <laughs> You're being stubborn, though. You won't take any pain meds. I don't want none. Well, They're going to give you some at the hospital. Well, if they give it to me then, then I have no choice, but I don't need it right now. So, everybody, we made it to the hospital, and there was a little bit of a mix-up. Um, when I spoke with the gentleman last night, he told us that we were supposed to be here at 10.50 this morning. And when we made a phone call on the way here to verify the address of the exact building we were supposed to be in, they also told us we needed to be here at 10.50. So we get here and they told us that we were supposed to wait at home until we got a phone call and then come down. So we're here. He's admitted, but they don't have a bed for him. 
So unfortunately, he can't sit and he can't stand. So he's laying down right now on a two-seat type bench and um, they gave him some pillows to make him comfortable as possible, or some blankets to use as pillows to make him as comfortable as possible while we're waiting for a bed to become available. They're trying to hurry to get a bed available for him. It could be one to two hours. So he did end up taking some pain meds and hopefully he'll fall asleep and get some rest while we're waiting. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Val is at the hospital, I, I'm assuming, with her father right now. I have made a huge mess. Don't tell Val. But uh, I'll just continue putting things on eBay until it's all gone. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, get some money out of this. Today, however, um, my mom decided that uh, we should go see a movie. So we're probably going to do that uh, in about an hour. So that's a good break. I'll enjoy it. And uh, not sure what we're going to see yet. I'll let you know. Pa, they got you a room. Gee, thanks. What are you going to do now? I'm going to stretch out on oh. it and go to sleep. <laughs> supposed to say, go to Disneyland! Yeah, I'm going to stretch on that bed and sack out. <laughs> oh, make up for Lord's sleep last night. So it's about 12.30 now. We've been here for about two hours and they got my dad a room. So they're sending transport to get him right now to take him up to his room. Yay! All right, um, so I'm back from the movies with mom. We saw Jurassic World. It's pretty good. Big budget, big dinosaurs. What else can you say? Um, so I'm basically hanging out here with, uh, with Boomer, uh, watching some news, and after the news I will go edit a couple of vlogs. So it looks like we have shout outs to do today, Val says that she's working on them. So this ought to be interesting, see how that works out. So my mom told you the story about carrying the picture of my dad in her wallet before she met my dad but she never told you how my mom and dad actually met. So my dad's gonna tell us that now. I was sitting on, on my cousin's porch with him and along up the, up the street come two girls. One of them was his girlfriend. And I said, geez, that's a nice looking girl. I'd like to meet her. And that's when we, his girlfriend came up on the porch and she came up with her and that's when we met. And then, in a, that, I forgot what day it was, but Saturday, I think that was on a Friday, and then Saturday I took her to the movies, and on the way back I told her, well, you're my girlfriend now, we're going together, and that was it. <laughs> now when he saw you and you went up on the porch, did you know it was him? That no, you had not the right picture? Away. No, not right away. Not right away? No. So when did you finally realize that it was his picture that you had in your wallet? When I got up closer to him. <clears throat> I'd probably seen it and told her that was mine. <laughs> That's funny. But you realized it like that same day. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you realized it that same day. So when you told her you're my girlfriend. I told her, That's it. You're going with me now. And no more boys. Nobody else but me. <laughs> and she was 16 and you were? She was 15. She was 15. And she just turned 16 a little after we started going, about a week after we started going together. And how old were you? Uh, 18, 17 or 18, I forgot now. <laughs> okay, what did he say to you? What did you say when he told you, you're my girlfriend, no more boys? Nothing, I said fine, that's okay with me. That's you, were, it. you were happy about that? Yes, I was. And then you got married two years later? About that, I was 18 when I got married. So about two years later? Yeah. And we got wedding yeah. pictures about at the total, house. A total of about two and a half years before we got, since we met and started going together and, and got married. We got a picture of your wedding and we've been photo married at the house. And we 53 years. We'll insert a wedding picture here. <laughs> we'll talk to you all later.
Are you comfy? Huh? Hate to do this to you, buddy, but I gotta go do some work. Get up! I gotta get up! Getting up! Getting up! Uh, you fell in the hole I left you. Ooh! There you go. All right. See you later. Okay, everybody. So we finally are in a room. My mom and I got something to eat, and my dad was just able to order something. Um, he couldn't order like anything major because they're getting ready to serve dinner at four o'clock and it's quarter to three right now. So they're sending him up a chicken sandwich and something to drink. And he ordered a ham, a cheeseburger and, uh, some soup and a drink for dinner. So they'll be bringing that up for him a little later. So he's laying here right now in oh, bed. Trying to sleep, <laughs> but he's in a little bit of pain, so they're getting him something for some pain, and uh, I think that's about it. Except for the pain ain't going away yet. <laughs> Except the pain ain't going, but he's ready to run down the hallway. He wants to have some race relay races. Uh, yeah, they gave me nice socks so I can jog the hall. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the end of today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow is Fred's surgery. We're all praying for him. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. And uh, have a good night. Bye.